As you look at the city that, that you've helped build over the last several years, what's your hope for Toronto in the next five years, the next decade, and, and the years to come? Well, we've been in a process of transformation as a city, accommodating a tremendous amount of growth. And my hope that my hope is that we will continue to focus on becoming an inclusive city, ensuring we have affordable housing, but also a transit-oriented city. Because as we add more density, we simply can't add more cars and have a really high quality of life. So if we can focus on transit and active transportation, building out our cycling network, I believe we can create the kinds of places that offer a really high quality of life in a sustainable city. Lots of debate about why you're leaving, what you're going to do when you leave. We'll, we'll put it out on the table right now. Are you running for mayor? I am not running for mayor. What's your thoughts on our, our current mayor and, and the administration uh, in, in place right now? Well, our mayor has been a pleasure to uh, pleasure to work with. Um, he was a he was a first time uh, politician at City Hall. He hadn't he hadn't been here before, um, so invariably I think that there was a lot of adjusting that took place. But I think he's I think he's definitely hit his stride. You're getting set to have your exit meeting with him right after our interview here. I uh, am. What were the if there were challenges for you, not necessarily just with the mayor or, or with the mayor at all, but you know being a city planner and working within the confines of a government and trying to achieve the goals you want? What, what were some of the challenges you found as as you ventured through this uh, this tenure? Well, you know, one of the tensions of being um, a public servant, I think, and in the civil service is that, uh, particularly as a planner, our goal is to serve the public interest and to take a very, very long view. And of course, that's not how political cycles work. <laughs> political cycles are pretty short. The term is four years, but, you know, there's a year of adjusting, then there's another year of, you know, politicking, which really only gives you a sweet spot of about two years to just get stuff done. And I really came in, I was brought in by Peter Milchin, who's now the Minister of Housing, with a change agenda. Uh, the goal was for me to really focus on how I could flip the apple cart and just do things in a very different way. And uh, he was very instrumental in giving me a lot of leeway in order to do that. But that tension between the political and the long-term public interest is uh, it's a pretty tricky thing it's a pretty tricky thing to manage um, it's essential to manage it it's essential to have a strong bureaucracy who is always taking the long view and thinking about the long-term public interest uh, but those two things do bump up against each other if you had to pick uh, something which you were most proud of during your time as city planner of the city of toronto what would it be well, you know, there's lots of things, and I think um, time will tell what sort of had the, the greatest impact. I'm very, very proud of the ravine strategy because 17% of our city is ravines, and being able to ensure we have a really livable city is connected to our green spaces and our public spaces. Uh, we have a transit network plan. I built the transit unit at the city. There wasn't one when I arrived. We have our first ever transit network plan, which takes us from focusing on just, let's build one project, debate, and then build another project, to advancing a whole variety of projects at once. So we're advancing subways, LRTs, smart tracks, the King Street Transit Priority Corridor. We're advancing all of these projects now at once. That's a very big change from where we were before. And we have $4.2 billion from the federal government in order to deliver and to continue to advance that, that, that planning. So that's a, another big one. And then I think the other one is the planning process. We really changed the planning process in this city to focus on complete communities. And TO Core, our downtown plan, is all about linking infrastructure to building new buildings in such a way that we're creating complete livable communities, ensuring that we have the water, the energy, the schools, the park space to create a really livable city over the long term. And, you know, I've had a very small but mighty team that has done an amazing job on TO Core. And I think it it is a generational plan that will be transformative for the city moving forward. As you sit back, uh, it's obviously a learning experience uh, working here at City Hall. Any do-overs, anything you'd be like, ah... I'm not quite sure. 
Uh, I, I don't know. I think the biggest thing, um, you know, I was pretty strategic. So if I felt like there, I couldn't make headway in a certain area, I didn't make it my top priority. I tried to read the will of council and the will of the mayor and advance the initiatives that I felt would get some traction um, with this council. Um, you know, I'm... I feel the pressure of the fact that we are increasingly becoming a less uh, affordable city and I see that as an incredible risk to the city that will just become more and more exclusive. Hey, I've got kids. I want my kids to live here. I'm worried that they won't be able to afford to live here. I've got nieces and nephews who are currently getting pushed out of the market. So the affordable housing piece I feel is this um, big unanswered question that we we haven't yet really come to terms with it on a significant scale. Scarborough Subway, you helped lay out a blueprint for a Subway slash LRT. The LRT is still not funded. Any thoughts there concerns there with with how that went because I'm I don't think you were necessarily a fan of the Scarborough subway idea well you know one of the challenges of being a bureaucrat is that uh, you don't rule the world you do what you're told and um, I was told to implement uh, a subway by City Council and so I went away and figured out what would be a good transit solution for Scarborough, which is the Scarborough Transit Network Plan, which includes a variety of components. It includes Smart Track, it includes LRT, uh, as well as the subway. Importantly, the uh, the Eglinton East LRT is advancing. We have funding from the federal government to continue the um, planning work to move that forward. So it's actually right on track. You don't usually have funding prior to having your alignment, your station locations, and your technical work done. So it's right where it should be. If there wasn't money to do the planning work and the planning work wasn't being expedited, I would be really worried. But that's not the case. It's well underway. In closing, if you had a word of advice for the incoming city planner for the City of Toronto, what, what would it be? I think it would be uh, hold on to your hat. It's a wild, wild ride, and you've got to figure out how to enjoy it along the way. Thanks for your time, Jennifer. My I pleasure. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. you. That was fun.